All right, welcome to another early impression video. And today we've got, we've got a good one. This knife has not spent any time in my hand, absolutely zero. This is going to be an unbagging. I've already removed it from the uh, USPS box, but I have got the bag here for none other than the Gen 2 Vero Synapse. So this is the uh, the standard size Synapse. Uh, this is the, the Gen 2 that has just recently started shipping. So many of you that are watching may already have this knife. So let's get into what's in the bag uh, really quick. Uh, and to get it out of the way, stickers. You're gonna get a couple of Joseph Vero, Vero Engineering stickers. Uh, you may get these, you may get the new uh, holographic stickers that he has, but you can always anticipate having a couple of these in the bag. You are also going to get a few of these little Italian candies. And I hear that the secondary market on those candies is gradually going up. So you might be able to exchange those three candies for a lesser knife uh, from another manufacturer. With no more ado, let's get into the knife. So as typical from Vero knives, you can expect to get them in this very well-made padded taco with a embroidered patch that matches the knife that is inside. These patches are of fantastic quality, uh, definitely is going to take a lot of extra time and money and effort from Joseph uh, to put these together and make sure that they all have this patch. Uh, and I really appreciate that extra touch of detail uh, to, to getting these out in that manner. Opening up the package, we have the standard microfiber cloth, the identifier card from Vero Engineering, which has all of his social media and website platforms on the back, and on the other side, he has handwritten all of the material for the knife. So in this one, we have the second generation Synapse designed by Joseph Vero, M390 blade steel, black wash finish with black micarta. And let's get to the pace de la resistance. The Gen 2 Vero Synapse. So this is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful knife. Uh, black micarta version with the black wash DLC blade and hardware. And this knife is absolutely gorgeous. So let's get into the specs of this knife. This knife has a blade length of 3.2 inches and overall length of 7.35 inches a blade thickness of 0.138, Bowler M390, uh, handle thickness is 0 0.075, and the overall weight is 3.25 ounces. I'm going to take the website at its word uh, and trust that those are all the measurements and weights. I'm not gonna take the time to weigh it and uh, you know check to make sure that it's correct. Initial thoughts. So. It's definitely a Synapse. Um, I did not have the, uh, the pleasure of getting a Gen 1 Synapse, but I did have uh, and do have the pleasure of owning a Gen or a um, Synapse XL. You can see it does have similar finishes uh, without the, the DLC on, on the blade, but we do have the black micarta. Um, this knife is much of what I would have expected from the, the standard size Synapse. It feels a little bit more snappy uh, than its big brother, uh, but it has the same exact smooth feeling that I would expect out of it. So definitely no issues with five finger open. Last up is the, the pinky. And I always struggle with that, there we go. Um, blade centering is perfect. Might be a little hard to see there, but blade centering is perfect. And we have a near drop shutty. So it just takes a little bit of movement, which is exactly where I like it to be. And I think is probably 
um, by design that Joseph ships these uh, like that, just a tiny bit on the, the tight side, because if you are a follower on his Facebook, you will notice that every time he does a knife drop or he does a knife shipment, uh, you're going to be greeted by about five to 10 people that have bleeding thumbs because they've opened up the knife and then closed it right behind the thumbnail. So I think that he may even, you know, given an extra little eighth or a sixteenth of a turn just to tighten it up a little bit extra to maybe help prevent uh, some thumb damage on some people. So fit finish is really, really good. Uh, everything on the knife looks nice and solid. I will put the knife on my um, on my microscope later uh, to check these bevels, but looking at them uh, just by eye, they look very, very even. Maybe just off on this side looks just a tiny bit shallow uh, to my eye. So yeah, just a tiny bit shallow on one side, but a quick touch up uh, and that would be completely even. You may even be able to see it in, nope, reflection looks exactly the same in the camera. Uh, micarta looks really good. Um, Joseph has chosen to left to leave the uh, the micarta raw so that people can decide for themselves what they want to do with it. Leave it raw, oil it, um, clear coat it, you know, whatever they uh, want to do, which is really nice. And looking at the at the micarta finishing on these Gen two synapses. Uh, the, the micarta actually looks a good deal better uh, than what it does on my Synapse XL. And I don't think that the camera is, is going to show this, but my, uh, my one small complaint about um, Bestech's um, micarta is that, let's, let's use a, another reference. Uh, if you have ever done woodworking and you've glued two pieces of wood together, uh, you may have, if you didn't get a good coat of glue on both pieces of wood or you didn't clamp them together enough, you may have had an area where uh, the two pieces of wood are separated. You know, there's a little gap, there's a little hole, there's some negative space in there that catches your eye and just your, your OCD kind of explodes. Um, it has happened to me in the past where I've been doing a cutting board and I have to do something after the fact to, to get that area filled in. Uh, and I noticed three of those areas on my Synapse XL, uh, where, you know, you're looking at the, at the finished edge of the micarta up against the titanium uh, frame. And you can just see those gaps where the material you know, is just a little bit frayed. It seems like there is a lacking of epoxy. Uh, or whatever binding agent they're using on these. And it just seems to be a little bit of gap, a little bit of negative space. And, and my OCD kicks in and it kind of, um, kind of drives me crazy. Not a big deal to, to most people. And to be honest, most people are probably not ever going to notice it. Uh, but it is something that I noticed on on the XL version. There is a lot of real estate on this knife. These are big pieces of micarta. Uh, and, you know, being that it has that much more real estate, there's just that much more opportunity for, uh, for a problem to arise in it. Uh, but looking at the, at the Gen 2 Synapse, I do not see any of that. Even up against the uh, bolster lock, everything looks very, very well done. Uh, all of these kind of frayed edges uh, will disappear with a little bit of oiling, uh, and this knife will darken up nicely. This is, for comparison, my Synapse XL, and you can see that the scales are a good bit darker except in areas where they rub up against my, my jeans all the time. Denim does have a tendency to pull those oils back out of the micarta and leave them with a little bit drier look but this is how uh, those micarta scales will look lightly oiled. Uh, if you have interest in oiling your scales, you can use uh, mineral oil, you can use butcher block oil. Uh, my preference is to use something called walrus oil. 
Uh, walrus oil is a premium oil uh, that is food grade and made for cutting boards, but it does seem to last a little bit better and really darken things up a little bit better as well. So we'll do some more comparisons here of the XL and the Gen 2 so that you can see the size difference. So pretty decent uh, difference in the size. Of course, you're looking upwards to a four inch blade uh, with this knife. Compare these holding at the pivot. Whoops, and my other light went dead. Uh, so probably a great place to end this video. So this is the, again, the Gen 2 Synapse uh, from Joseph Vero. Uh, once he gets all of the pre-orders sent out, uh, so all the batches are in, everything is sent out, uh, you're gonna wanna make sure to be signed up for his newsletter on his website, be on the Facebook, and be looking at his Instagram because I'm sure uh, some lottery, excuse me, some lotteries and various other things will probably be in the pipelines shortly after Everybody that got the chance to pre-order them gets them in hand. So I'll have a link to all of my social media platforms and my website down below. If you find yourself in need of handkerchiefs, leather goods, or a great many other things are on the way to that website and some big announcements with Renegade EDC and the company going forward. I will also link below all of Joseph's social media platforms. So if you need to sign up for the newsletter, his website is there. If you need to follow him on Instagram, if you need to join the Facebook group, all of that will be linked in the description box below. So thank you very much for your time. I hope you enjoyed the first impression on the Vero Synapse Gen 2. Have a good day.